All right, welcome back to Wild Car Wednesday. Still working on the C50. I'm going to try and get the top section of the roof sanded tonight and sprayed in white so I can go back and do our faux tina on it in the next couple of days, and that'll be for next week's video. Anyway, I'm going to get, try and get it knocked down, get it ready to make it look a little bit ugly because ugly is the new beautiful. And based off from that, I'm the most beautiful man in the world. me sway, darkness falls, and we all pray, hoping for... All right, let's see if we can get this thing good done. I'm running out of daylight. Down to the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man. Down to the river, down to the river. All right, so you'll see right in here, it has like some gaps and things. And I forgot that we hadn't seam sealed this yet. So I won't be able to paint the white tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and seam seal that right now. It'll set up over the next day or so. And I will be able to get our white on it. It'll probably be better anyway. I'm sort of rushing to try and get it done. And you know, when you, when you rush things, it just doesn't work out. So I'm gonna grab the seam sealer. We'll put it in. We'll do a little more work on the truck other than paint. All right, we'll get this thing going. All right, this crap gets everywhere. And on this truck, we're just using a 25 year Alex caulking up here. They have some stuff specific for it. My buddy's a chemical engineer and he claims that it's all the same stuff. We'll see. And their stuff is like $30 a tube. Anyway, we'll see what it does. Seems like if it'd work on your house, it'd work on your car, wouldn't it? So this is a rain gutter, and where the metal comes over, it welds in right there. And so you end up with an open seam that if you don't cover it, water will just pour in the cab when it rains. Now it only rains about five days a year here in Arizona. Maybe, maybe not even five days. Actually, I think it rains more than that, but. But you will end up with problems if you don't do it. So we're doing it. Well, I dropped it on the ground. Got a little few leaves on there, luckily. It's not going to hurt anything we're doing. This doesn't matter here, so. Lovely. So I put lots of it on and take lots of it off. But I wanted to penetrate down in there and make sure I don't get a leak. We can always come back and take some off, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you fill it up. Yep, I'll waste an entire tube on it, just on this right here. 
but that is what you need. All right, let's take a look at it. So that crack is now filled and you'll see there's a few little stragglers on there. We'll get that off after it's dry. Goes all the way across the front there. We're on the other side now, driver's side. And we got that all sealed up so that we don't get any rain in there. Sorry, I'm cleaning off my fingers from doing the seam sealer. Anyway, um, this truck, I'm going to be painting the roof on probably Wednesday, Thursday. I've decided I'm going to do a Friday morning video so that you can see some more progress on this truck right here. And then we'll get back over to our other stuff for Sunday morning video. Well, I got a little more work for you here on the C50. I'm going to show you the tailgate that we have for it. And this tailgate, it doesn't match the color, but I have to figure out how to use it because it has some really cool old school pinstriping on it. So I'm going to go grab it. I'll bring it back in here. I'll show you what I'm going to do. And hopefully I'm going to be able to make this thing work. Check it out. All right, so here's the tailgate I'm going to use. You see it's uh, the appropriate GMC. But check out this old school pinstriping on here. I just think it's really cool. I have to figure out how to save it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the other green color up through here. We're going to put keep our our white paint here. I'm going to bring the green all the way up to here and I'm going to leave this here. I'll leave the rust. Uh, I'll sort of burn the green up into here and maybe re-rust this a little more. I just really would like to try and keep the pin striping. I think it'd be really cool. So I'll just put it on here just to look at it and see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't think I really can, but we're just going to see how it looks. It's missing all the parts, all the guts to it. Probably gonna fall. All right, let's see how she looks. All right, you go from the sanded side and you come right around here. I think it's cool. I think it's the right look. You guys tell me what you think. Should that stay? I think it definitely should stay. All right, so I'm gonna show you a really cool tank I have that I wanna put in the bed of the C50, and it would be the pretend tank that I keep my Rustle Dean in. So tell me what you think of it, check it out. This is the tank that I was wanting to run in the back and paint on it Rustle Dean. This is for my silly rust preventer my pretend rust preventer. I thought it would look really cool with some uh, base to it and some straps that hold it in and maybe a gas pump looking type thing or a spray nozzle. Anyway, I thought it would be the perfect tank for it. It's even got a nice patina to it. So that pretty much wraps it up for Wild Car Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed the progress we made on the C50. There's gonna be another video on Friday. Remember that one. You're gonna see even more stuff on this girl. And uh, we're gonna make more progress on Ben's truck and Brandon's truck. And we're finally going to get back onto that 55 Chevy. We appreciate all your time. Thanks for watching.